During this event of the solar eclipse, it's really important for individuals to realize that there is a possibility and risk of retinal damage that can be done if not viewed safely. The risks of viewing the solar eclipse without proper protection uh, for the eyes would include what's called solar retinopathy, where there is an excess of UV light, infrared light, that can actually damage the retina, and in some cases causes permanent vision loss. The eclipse should be viewed um, through proper lenses and filters. For example, if you're planning on viewing the solar eclipse with just your eye, like walking outside and viewing it, it should not be viewed with regular sunglasses as these do not provide the proper protection. It should instead be viewed with filters that are ISO approved for this event and they are darker than your typical sunglasses, meaning that they block out an extra portion of light that normal sunwear does not block out. Examples of such would be glasses like these. Kind of look like 3D glasses, but they're not the same. They actually, on the inside, um, have a statement here saying that they're ISO approved for this particular event and meet the requirements for it. And that's extremely important to have that notification on whatever eyewear you're using. In addition, to safely view the eclipse if you're planning on using binoculars or telescope or anything like that that has extra high power lenses in addition, you should be using a filter that's approved um, for that device that you're using. Unfortunately, after the event takes place, if there is damage to the retina, it can be difficult to treat. A lot of our treatments consist of monitoring for any kind of change at all. Um, and sometimes with, with time, the, the retina can restore itself and start to heal. A lot of situations, it does not heal properly and there can be some residual effects.